I call my power back to me from every person, place, entity, from every space, portal, time, and dimension. Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If at any time, Capricorn, uh, you resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Uh, I've already said my blessing and prayer. That is in the description box if you are interested in knowing what that is. Also, there's a link to my website in the description box as well. So let's jump right into it. All right, Capricorn, let's see what messages we've got for you. Community is the first card out, okay? So some of you may feel like, because I'm getting this energy of you may be surrounded by your family or friends or you may have a community, but you still feel out of place there's still something else that you're longing for something more it almost feels like something is missing hmm and then you have marriage so some of you could be married could be talking about getting married this could be within a committed relationship or you were married to this person at one time, expectations. So somebody could be pregnant, okay? And then you have house. So there could be a pregnancy here that somebody or somebody's waiting to get married as well. This is gonna be a blessing. You have great fortune. It doesn't seem like it though, because you also have poverty underneath that and then you have gift. So it's like something, there's a hidden there's something hidden in what's coming. There's a hidden abundance that you're that you're unaware of that's on its way to you. Could also be like family interfering with a connection here, okay, in regards to a child. Let's see here. Current energy around Capricorn. Five of Cups. <clears throat> huh. So it's like a loss takes place here. Three of pentacles is what's coming towards you. What's the intentions of this three of pentacles, please, for Capricorn? The three of wands. And that's where I was getting this like yearning, longing. Something might change here. Somebody's job, house, yep. Your lesson and your guidance is the Eight of Cups. Somebody could be moving away. King of Wands as the outcome. On the bottom, you have the Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups, Four of Wands, and the World with the Five of Wands. Capricorn, what's going on? And then you have the queen of wands. So it's like there's some type of conflict within a committed relationship or the family as a whole, right? Again, with the world, it's like somebody just wants it to end because it's creating a dis... It's creating a discord in this home life or in this family life. Other people getting involved, saying whatever they want to say. Hmm. Could be, again, children involved here. Very interesting situation. It's like, it's almost like somebody feels like they're not given or treated the way someone else is. Does that make sense? Clarify this Five of Cups, please. There's sadness over commitment, over a contract. Yeah, obstruction. Somebody's like getting in the way of a commitment, of a relationship, stubbornness, a lot of arrogance, a lot of arguments, fighting taking place here. It's creating an element of sadness. Again, you have an apology and compromise. So wanting to find a solution to something, I feel like you're just in the space of pushing through this. You're not trying to 
You don't want to have a problem. You don't want to be arguing. You know what I'm saying? But whoever this is, this person is very, very stubborn, very arrogant. Clarify, please. You have Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's an ending and a beginning that's coming into play. Somebody may have passed away too, and that's kind of, you know, bringing up emotions here. Oops. It says, let go and let God, which is really all you can do in this situation, Capricorn. Um, it looks like something's undergoing a major transformation, a makeover. And so with that comes loss, comes pain, okay? A lot of times, you know, people don't realize how adverse we innately are to change until it's time to change, okay? And that's what it looks like. Somebody might not really be wanting to change or grow out of a situation and it's being thrown upon them. The energy that's coming towards you is the three of pentacles. How are we going to work on this? How are we going to fix this, right? How are we going to come together is really what I'm getting from this three of pentacles. Yeah, gain. What can we what can we cultivate? What can we take from this situation? So there's an opportunity here to work on something. Yeah, merit making. How can we make this right? What can we get out of this? What what's the right thing to do? Because in that comes a blessing. Okay, so somebody may be asking for forgiveness. You are a star seed. And this is a karmic relationship. So you're dealing with a karmic situation right now. Yeah, this person or situation is very unstable. You do have success in terms of an investment and or a new job coming towards you with the three of pentacles. I see you wanting to do right by a situation. Okay, I see you wanting to kind of fix this, heal this. And then it's just spirits stepping in saying, well, it's really just about closing a karmic cycle, okay? So however that ends up looking in, in terms of this connection, this relationship, it might be closing it up and saying, okay, we're not gonna see eye to eye, I'm gonna leave you there. The purpose of this Three of Pentacles, the intentions of it is the Three of Wands. It has you looking out at other options, okay? What comes in with this Three of Wands? What's the intentions of this Three of Wands? bully wow gossip embarrassment unwillingness this might have you look at a situation entirely differently to see how a situation was handled because you've really pushed through some things where you feel like maybe you were under attack or you were bullied uh in a situation and you're really just wanting like i said collaboration you're wanting goodness to come out of the situation where everybody can get along but it's for some reason it's not happening that way i feel like you're trying to look at other ways to solve a situation while other people aren't interested in solving it they're just sitting here bullying people picking on people they hide their true feelings for you. That's what this says. Again, you have some type of money coming in. There's something coming towards you. A new investment or a raise. What's this? Capricorn, there you are. <laughs> the only card that was upside down. So again, pushing through difficult situations, Capricorn, um, which is what's going to bring in this blessing, whether it's money or some type of abundance, because you are in the process of closing out karmic cycles. Again, that could be within your household, family, or a marriage here. Your lesson and your guidance is the Eight of Cups. Well, it's about walking away from situations that leave you feeling empty and, and, and as if there's still a void. If something's taking from you, yeah, libation. You have an offering to give to the Most High. There's something that God is asking you to pray about to release to Him. Yep, libation and gift. You need to make some type of offering here to give and receive. Because there's a situation here that needs that God needs to be brought into. That's really what I'm seeing. Alliance. 
and then trap. You're not going to be able to find your way out of this because you got Capricorn energy, which is the devil in tarot. So there, you also have this as a karmic relationship. So there's a dark energy here that needs to be released, that you need to pray about, that you need to also uh, give forgiveness and ask for forgiveness from the Most High in order to receive clarity on the situation to help you fill a void within yourself in regards to this particular situation wow dark entities are around and or attached to you then you have blessings and rewards are coming so you you just you're needing to you're needing to connect and strengthen your connection with the most high to be able to get out of this because it looks like you're under some type of attack what is this king of wands please for what Capricorn can expect. What is this King of Wands? Memory, remembrance, commemoration, reunion, and origin. Going to the root. Remembering where you came from. Remembering who you are. Finding that center balance. Finding that center peace before you take action. Um, I do feel like there could be a group of people or somebody that was trying to set you up. Who, who should have been on your side. Who you feel like should have had your side or had your back in a conversation and or argument that involved other people, possibly family members. But you need to go back, because I feel like there's been a blockage in your creativity and spirit is saying, look, you need to get that passion, that spark back, either within yourself or in this situation by going back to the beginning and, and resurfacing those feelings from the beginning. There's somebody here that you can't, oh, I'm telling you, do not trust them and you are under attack. Spiritual warfare. This could be a family member that's like putting out attacks on you. And that's why they're saying origin and memories. Like you're needing to go back. There's something here. It's almost like revenge. You may feel stuck and unable to move forward. Patience is needed. Spell work backfired. You are protected. Yeah, you need to stay prayed up because there's definitely something here that's trying to attack your relationship, your your whatever this is, your marriage, your relationship. You know, it could be a child if you are a blended uh, marriage here, like a stepchild or something. It doesn't, I mean, that's, that's pretty specific. Or it could be like in-laws. All right, closing messages, please, for Capricorn. When you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. That's what I was talking about up here where I was like, go back to the, the beginning. Find something where that spark was and go with that. Look around and find the signs. The universe is speaking to you. Find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously. And you have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. If there's somebody that's trying to go up against you and cause problems, you have the authority and the power to cut it out, to stop it, and to create peace for yourself. Detach from those situations. And uh, also remember, the enemy loves it when we get riled up. Don't, don't show them your emotions or your feelings, Capricorn. All right, you've got this. Sending you guys much love, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.